An expense tracker or manager is a tool which is maintained to track all your income and expenses. In a nutshell, expense tracking is a budgeting tool which is maintained to track all your income and expenses. In today's video, we will see how we can create expense tracker in an Excel file. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a daily expense tracking software which I have already created in advance. We will see how it works. We have got start date and end date. All the expenses are connected with start and end date. When we will change the end date, all the expenses will automatically change. Here we can see various type of expenses, medical, travel, shopping, investment, education, food, rent and miscellaneous. Here we have got pie chart and here we have got bar chart. We will change the date over here. Currently it's 31st Jan. I'll do it 10th Jan and you will notice that all the expenses got changed. I'll do it 28th of Feb. Currently my medical expense is 1320. I had inserted 28th of February. Now I'll do enter and our medical expenses got 3540. Even the pie chart and bar chart got changed. We have got total two sheets over here, tracker and daily expenses. Here we will have to insert our daily expenses and the tracker will get updated. In daily expenses, we have got date, expenses, amount and comments if required. We have got various type of expenses over here. Medical, education, travel, food, shopping, rent, investment, miscellaneous. In case you have got other type of expenses, you can insert over here. Now we will start creating a new tracker. We will open a new workbook. We will insert date over here, expenses, amount, comments. We will take all in center and in mid. I'll insert one date over here. I'll change the format. I'll drag this. Now I'll select this and we'll insert borders. I'll go in view and we'll remove grid lines. I'll click over here and we'll press Ctrl T. A small box will pop up. Here we will get option of my table has headers and we will do OK. Here we will get different options for tables. We will select one. I'll take this over here. I'll increase this. I'll increase the size of headers. I'll select the whole sheet and we'll change the font. I'll click inside the table and we'll go in table tab. From here, I'll remove filter buttons. I'll type different categories of expenses over here. Medical, education, travel, food, shopping, rent, investment, miscellaneous. I'll take this in extreme left. I'll take this in center. Amount. I'll take some random figures over here. We will rename the tab daily expenses. We will insert one more tab over here and we'll rename as tracker. We will come over here and we'll type start date, end date. We will select this. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go in format cells. From here, we will go in date and we'll select a format. Okay. Now we will insert our date first Jan 2023. Here we will insert end date. So we have got our start and end date over here. Here we will put category and here amount. I'll increase this. I'll take this in center. We'll put some color over here. Medical, education, travel, food, shopping, rent, investment, miscellaneous. We will create border for this. Now we will connect this sheet means tracker with daily expenses. To connect this, we will insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to some ifs bracket open we have to provide some range and total three criteria over here first criteria is category second criteria is date means start date and third criteria is end date so first of all we will have to provide some range we will go in daily expenses we will select amount comma now we have to provide criteria range so first criteria range will be expenses category we will select from top to bottom comma now we have to provide criteria we will go in our tracker and we will provide criteria so medical is our first criteria comma now we have to provide criteria range 2 we will go in daily expenses we will select date comma now we will give double inverted comma greater than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will go in our tracker and we'll select start date here we will have to lock our start date so we will have to click f4 or function f4 function f4 and our start date got locked comma criteria range 3 so we will go in daily expenses 
we will select date from first to last comma double inverted comma smaller than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will go in our tracker and we'll select last date we will lock our last date also function f4 or f4 we will close the bracket and we will do enter and our amount got connected from our daily expenses sheet we will drag this we will take this in center we will click over here and we'll press Ctrl T. We will do OK and our table got created. We will select some design from here. I'll put some dark color over here. I'll change the font. I'll do it white. I'll put total over here and I'll put formula of total. So formula of total got inserted. We will give some color to this also. We will change the font color. We will remove the grid lines. We will go to daily expenses and we'll put some more amount over here. We will drag this. We will drag this also. We will come to our tracker. Now we will change the date and we'll see how our formula works. We will do it 10th of Jan and the amount got changed. I'll do it 5th of Jan and the amount got changed again. We will go in insert illustrations shape. I'll take a shape over here. We will double click on the shape and we will be diverted to shape format. We will change the color of shape. I'll give it some dark color. We will right click the mouse and we'll go in format shape. From here, we will give a shadow. We will go in text options. We will go in center text effects and we will give a shadow to the text. We will insert our text over here. Right click the mouse, edit text, daily expenses tracking software. We will increase the font size. We will change the font style or font design. We will do it in packed. We will take this in center and in mid. We will click on the shape, we'll go to shape format and we'll remove outline. We will select this and we'll go in insert. From here, we will select a pie chart. We can select various designs from here. I'll click on legend and we'll delete this. We'll delete chart title also. We'll click over here and we'll change the design. We will select this. I'll take this over here. We'll click on legend and we'll take this on right hand side. So it got placed over here very properly. We'll click on the shape. We'll go in format and we'll change the background color. We will resize it. We will select this once again. We'll go in insert and we'll insert bar chart. We will take this. We'll place it over here. We'll resize it. We will remove all these lines. We'll click on the chart. We'll go in format and we'll change the background color. We'll click over here and we'll change the color. We'll go in home and from here we will change the colors. We will change the date. We will do it 31st means end date will be 31st. Enter. We will remove this. We'll click over here. We will right click the mouse and we'll click on add data labels and all the data labels got added over here. We will change the color. We will make this little bit bigger. We will resize it once again. We will take this up, we will resize it, we will change the color of the font. Now we will insert icon for various categories over here. So first category is medical. We will click over here and we'll go in insert illustrations, icons and here we will search medical. So various icons are over here. We will select one, insert, we will resize it, we will put it over here. Second is education or we will type books. We will take this, insert. Third is travel, plane, we will take this, fourth is food and in this way we will insert rest of the icons. So all the icons got inserted, we will close this, we will insert one shape over here, we will go in insert illustrations, shape and we will select this. We will click on the shape, we will press control and we'll drag this. We'll press control once again, we'll make a copy by dragging it, we'll keep on pressing control and we'll drag it. Now we will select all four by pressing control and we will drag it over here. We will press control once again and we will make another copies. We will press control and we will make copies over here also. Over here we will type medical, education, travel, food, shopping, rent, investment, miscellaneous. We will select all 
and we'll take this in center and in middle we will change the font we will change the font color travel spelling is wrong i'll rectify it we will click over here we will go in formula bar plus or equal to we will click on medical we will do enter we will click over here and we'll go in formula bar plus or equal to education enter travel we will go in formula bar plus or equal to we will select travel enter and in the same way we will connect all the icons Now we will select this, we will right click the mouse, we will go in format cells, we will go in custom, we will remove general, double inverted comma, rs means rupees, double inverted comma close, we will give space and we will press hash and we will do ok. So rupees got inserted behind the amount, we will decrease size of this. So the amount is visible over here along with rupees. Now we will change color of the icons, we will click over here and we will go in graphics format. From here we can change the color. We will select all by pressing control. We will right click the mouse and will group it. Now this all became a group wherever we want to place we can place it. Now we will see how it works. We will change the date over here 15th of Jan. Currently the medical is 4037. We will see how the figure changes. Once the end date changed. It became 2679. In the same way all the expenses got changed. The bar chart got changed and even the pie chart got changed. We will make it Feb. And all the expenses got changed again. I'll provide link of this sheet in description box. In case you want to download it, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.